Hmm. We're just gonna let our breath kind of start to settle in here. Nice, gentle breath flowing through our bodies. I'm just taking notice of how that breath is flowing through your body here. Noticing areas that it flows easily through. And maybe an area or two that oh, stuck there a little bit. Just notice it for right now, don't change anything. And we're gonna to start to deepen that breath here. Take it nice and low into the belly, feeling that belly press out ever so slightly. Exhale as you let the belly release back. Inhale nice and deep into the belly. And exhale nice and slow. Just continue with that, inhaling nice and deep. Exhaling nice and slow. You're gonna to begin to start to feel a rhythm in your breath. Pause here for a couple more breaths. Beautiful. Let's release the hands out to the sides and we'll do a few sun breaths here, palms facing the ceiling. Inhale, release the palms up overhead. Turn the palms out, exhale. Take them back along your sides. Inhale, nice and deep, letting the palms and arms move with the inhale. Exhale, letting the palms and arms move with the exhale. Nice and slow, beautiful. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, take them back down. Awesome, let's do that two more times with your breath. All right, we're gonna continue with that movement where we're gonna add a twist. So inhale, the arms up overhead. And this time when you exhale, we're gonna to twist to the left. Right hand goes to right knee, left hand goes behind. Inhale, take the arms back up overhead. Exhale, twist to the right. All right, left hand to right knee. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, arms back up overhead. Exhale, twist to the right. Awesome. 
Let's do that a couple more times. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, left. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, right. So one more time to each side. Just follow your breath. Beautiful. Now this time when we take the arms up overhead, with the exhale, we're gonna let the left arm float down, let the right arm guide us into the side bend. Inhale, take it back up overhead. Exhale, the right arm's gonna guide us down into the side bend. Beautiful. Inhale, arms back up overhead. Exhale, the left hand goes down, right arm guides a side bend. Inhale up overhead. Exhale, right arm down, left arm guided into the side bend. Awesome. Let's do that two more times to each side. Inhale up. Exhale, left arm down. Side bend to the left. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, side bend to the right, right arm down. One more time to each side, just follow your breath. Inhale up. Exhale, side bend left. Inhale up. Exhale, side bend right. Awesome. Inhale back up. This time we're going to forward fold, leading with the chest. Let the body just release down, let the hands release down, and let the head release down. Settle into this forward fold here. I'm gonna pause here for about three really nice deep breaths. So let that breath go, maybe to the low back, maybe to the hips. Let it go where it needs to go here. One more beautiful breath here. Awesome. We're going to use the hands to walk the body upright. Then just pause seated upright here. Let's take two really nice deep cleansing breaths. Beautiful. All right, let's make our way to tabletop here. So once we get into the tabletop, we're going to check our alignment very carefully, making sure those hands are coming in straight down out of the shoulders and the knees are coming straight down out of the hips. Okay, beautiful. There we go. Let's take a nice deep inhale as we let the chin lift up, belly drops towards the floor. Cow pose. Exhale, bring the chin to the chest, arch the back, cat pose, press into the floor with those hands. Inhale, as you lift out, keep pressing into the floor, fingers nice and wide. Exhale, feel that belly button press towards the spine. Beautiful. Inhale, let the belly drop. Exhale. In the chest, arch the back. Awesome. Let's do that two more times with your breath. Beautiful. Make your way back to neutral tabletop. And we're going to take the knees just a little bit wider here. And we're just going to do a few little hip circles here. So inhale as you lean up over the hands. Exhale as you circle the hips back around. Beautiful. Let the hips go down as far as feels good here. Inhale, circle back up. Exhale, circle back. Same direction. 
Inhale, circle up. Exhale. And next time we're up, up front with the exhale, we're going to release back the opposite direction. So take the circle the opposite way. Inhale up, over arms, exhale, circling back. Nice gentle movement here, getting a nice little stretch in the hips and the spine. Just getting those parts of your body activated, ready for our practice. One more circle here. And let's make our way back to neutral tabletop. Mm. Just sway the hips side to side here as we prepare for our first down dog. So we're going to curl those toes under, take that really nice deep inhale, and then we're going to exhale. Let the hips release up towards the ceiling. And the heels begin to release towards the floor. They don't have to touch the floor. They just have to make their way towards the floor. Awesome. Those knees are bent a little bit. That's totally fine. You want to keep that spine nice and long. You don't want that spine to dip down here. We don't want a bowed spine. We want a nice straight spine. All righty. Let's take one more nice deep breath here in down dog. We're going to look towards our hands and either jump or walk your feet to your hands into a forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, take the arms straight up to extended mountain. Exhale, chair. Inhale, back up to extended mountain. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, straight up to extended mountain. Exhale, release the chair. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale all the way up to extended mountain. Really reach up. Exhale, chair. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, take it up to extended mountain. This time we're going to sit in chair for a little bit. So get nice and comfy in your chair. Nice deep breaths here. You got this one more breath. Inhale, take it up to extended mountain, palms together. Exhale, heart center. Beautiful. Let's just pause here for a few breaths. Let everything settle into this nice standing position. Check your feet. Make sure they're right underneath your hips. And let's release the arms down. Coming into mountain pose. Beautiful. We're going to do a, sun, a few sun breaths at the standing position. So inhale, take the arms up overhead. Exhale, release the palms back down to the sides. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, release back down. Do that two more times. Inhale, arms up overhead. Turn the palms, exhale. One more time with your breath. 
Awesome. Let's pause here in mountain. I'm going to slowly walk the feet out just slightly wider than the hips. Not too wide. Take the feet at a 45 degree in inhale, in angle, sorry. <laughs> and we're just going to slowly begin to squat down. Take it nice and slow. Let those knees bend ever so slowly. Make adjustments in your feet, what you need to. Maybe they need to come in a little closer. Get you into the squat position. Beautiful. Maybe the hands come to the heart center. Maybe they release down to the thighs. So find what feels good here. Pause here. Try to let those heels get down to the floor. If that means you lean forward a little bit, that's quite all right here. Breathe here. Awesome. Now we're going to let the right hand release down towards the floor. Press into that right inner thigh a little bit. And then we're going to let the left arm float up at an angle. So the arms are kind of like at a diagonal here. The gaze can be out the left hand if that feels good. Or maybe it's down towards the right hand. So find what feels good here. And take some nice deep breaths. Mm. We got this one more breath. Beautiful. Release the palms back to center. Pause here. Mm. Left hand down, right arm reaches up. Press into that inner thigh with the left elbow there. Beautiful. Find your breath. One more breath. And then release it back to heart center. Pause here. Release the hands down. And we're just gonna slowly begin to press the body upright. Turn those heels ever so slightly. Walk it into a forward fold here. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse the spawn, take it up. Bring the palms together. Exhale, heart center. Beautiful. Let those legs relax out a little bit. Always maintaining that beautiful rhythmic breath. Helps to control the heart rate. Helps to control your blood pressure. And helps to support you in your poses. Release the arms down to the sides. And let's begin some sun salutations. Here we go. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, fold it down. Inhale, half lift. Self fold. Inhale, let that right foot float back into high lunge. Exhale, send it to plank and lower your body. Inhale, up to cobra. Curl the toes. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, sending that right foot forward. Find your high lunge. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Reverse that swan. Heart center. Inhale up. 
exhale, fold, half lift with your inhale, and fold. Left foot back into high lunge, exhale, plank and lower. Cobra, and down dog. Left foot forward, lunge. Exhale. Inhale, half lift. Beautiful. We're going to do two more rounds of sun salutations. Here we go. In. Hold it down. Half lift with your inhale and fold. Right foot goes back. High lunge. Exhale. Lower. Go around. And down back. Foot forward, high lunge. Exhale, fold, half lift, fold. Swing my top. Left side. As you do, beautiful. Keep it up. Keep that breath flowing. Inhale, half lift. Left foot, one, plank and lower. Cobra, and down dog. Left foot, One more round here. Follow your breath. Right foot is back. Right foot forward. Beautiful. One more time to the left side. Awesome. Left foot back. <sighs> Left foot forward. Mm. Oh. Ooh, let's pause here in Namaste Mountain and just take in the beauty of our sun salutations. Mm. This always feels so good in the mornings. Helps the body, the whole body, get nice and stretched out. Lengthening your spine. 
And connecting your body and your breath really helps to center yourself. That's the beauty of yoga to me is that body breath connection really helps you internalize and brings you some calm and some relaxation. So here we go. Release the hands down. Inhale, take the arms up overhead. Exhale, fold it down. From here, we're going to step it back to down dog. So whatever method works, if you want to do a vinyasa or just step back into your down dog. And we'll pause here in this down dog for a little bit. Again, make sure that spine is nice and straight. We don't want that nice bow or a nice straight spine. The heels are releasing towards the floor. Hips are up towards the ceiling. Breathe, breathe, breathe here. All right. We're going to drop it down to tabletop from here. We're going to bring the left leg forward. Come into a little lunge here. So find the the position of the low lunge that feels good to you, and then we're going to release the body upright. Mm. I'm going to inhale, take the arms up overhead. With the exhale, we're going to bend the elbows into goddess arms and bend ever so slightly into a slight back bend, opening the heart center. Beautiful. Inhale, take the arms back up, lift up. Exhale, release back, open up the heart. Mm. Inhale. Release up, really extend up. Exhale, release back. Beautiful. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, release goddess arms. It's beautiful. Inhale, back up. Exhale, we're going to release the arms down, lean over that left leg here. Just pause here. All right, we're going to do a little flow here from low lunge to half split. So we're going to take a nice deep inhale as we're up over, bent over. Exhale, we're going to release back, release the hips, and let the left heel kind of drag back. Inhale, bring it back out to low lunge. Exhale, release it back two half split beautiful let that heel drag inhale take it back out low lunge exhale release back drag that heel let's do that one more time on the left side inhale release out exhale drag it back beautiful take it back to a low lunge just gentle little lunge, and then we're gonna let the left foot release back to tabletop here. We're gonna release back to plank, and then we're gonna lower down. I'm gonna bring the forearms down to the mat, let the elbows rest right at the chest line. Fingers are nice and wide and spread. Point your fingers towards the top of the mat. And then we're going to take a nice deep inhale as we come into Sphinx Pose. Let that back release up. Sorry, down. <laughs> Let the head release up. Beautiful. Now the legs can be together here or they can be slightly apart. So find what feels good here. And we're going to pause here in Sphinx Pose for a few breaths. Take one more breath. Oh. 
bring the hands back to chest center position and we're going to press it all the way back to tabletop here now we're going to come into puppy pose here so we're going to slowly let the arms release down forearms first and then we're going to begin to let the heart center melt down as the arms walk their way out in front once the heart center is down then we're going to release the forehead down to the mat as well legs are going to stay in that 90 degree angle pause here and breathe Beautiful. Let's slowly walk it back up to tabletop here. Oh, and we're going to bring that right foot forward this time. And we're going to do that little low lunge pulse with the arms first. Excuse me. Inhale, bring the arms up overhead. Exhale as you bend those goddess arms. Inhale, release the arms up overhead, really stretch. Exhale, goddess arms, slight back bend, beautiful. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, release up. Exhale. Inhale, release up. Exhale, take the hands down, frame the front foot. Just pause here for a breath. Mm, all right, let's begin that little half split low lunge flow. Here we go. Inhale, lean up over. Exhale, drag it back. Let that right heel drag. Ooh, there we go. Inhale, release back out, low lunge. Exhale. Release the hips back, drag the right heel, half split. Awesome. Inhale, back out to low lunge. Exhale, drag the hips back and the heels back. One more time through that. Inhale, take it back out. Exhale, release it back. Beautiful. Inhale, take it back to that low lunge. Curl that back toe. We're gonna make our way to down dog. Take a nice deep inhale. Exhale, release it back to your down dog. Awesome. Take a few breaths here in down dog. And a nice gentle stretch. On the inhale, we're going to bring the right foot forward. We're going to find warrior one. Turning the back heel down. <clears throat> Excuse me. Lining that right knee up with the ankle. Bringing the body upright. Letting that right knee line up with the second toe. Beautiful. Bring those hips around to the front of the body. Oh. The hands can stay right here on the hips if that feels good. They can go to the heart center, <clears throat> excuse me, or they can release all the way back up. Mm. If they're up overhead, make sure you relax those shoulders down. Awesome. Breathe here. One last deep breath. Mm. 
Let's release the arms down. <clears throat> Excuse me, we're gonna clasp the hands back behind. Take a nice deep inhale as you lift the chest. Exhale, we're gonna fold forward into humble warrior. Let that crown of the head release down. The arms can rest right on the back if that's what feels good to you, or they can lift up, giving you a nice gentle shoulder stretch. So find what feels good here. Oh, shoulders are a little tense today, so I'm just gonna let them relax. Mm. Yeah, that probably would feel good to stretch them a little bit, but we're gonna just take it easy here. One more breath in, humble warrior. Mm. Release it back up to warrior one position. <sighs> we're gonna walk that right foot over and we're gonna turn the left foot back open coming to a wide-legged stance facing the left side of your mat. Beautiful. <sighs> Inhale, we're gonna release the arms out to five-point star. Pause here for a breath or two. Inhale nice and deep here. Exhale, we're gonna come into goddess. Bend the elbows, bend the knees, awesome. Inhale, take it back up to five point star. Exhale, goddess pose, beautiful. Inhale, five point star. Exhale, goddess pose. Inhale, five point star. Exhale, goddess pose. Beautiful, let's do that one more time. Inhale, five point star. Exhale, goddess, and we're gonna sit in this goddess for a little bit here. So let that pelvis tilt forward here. Ooh, breathe here, find your breath. Awesome. It's like two more breaths here. You got this. Beautiful. Inhale, take it back out to five point star. Exhale, release the arms down to the side. Just pause here. We're gonna slowly turn this back heel back towards the front of the mat, releasing the right foot back forward. Inhale, take the arms up overhead as you lift the back heel, high lunge. Exhale, send the hands down and we're gonna step it back to down dog here. Beautiful. Pause here, take a couple breaths. On the inhale, we're gonna bring the right foot forward, left foot forward, sorry, left foot forward, and find warrior one on the left side. All right heel goes down, left knee lines up with the left ankle, releasing the body up, left knee lines up with the second toe on the left foot, and bring those hips around. Mm. Again, let those hands go where they feel best. Heart center, hips, or released up overhead. Once you find your pose, it feels like, yep, that's where I need to be. Find your breath here. Awesome. Y'all are doing beautiful. Keep it up. One more breath. Let's release the arms down. Clasp the hands back behind us. Prepare for humble warrior. Take a nice deep inhale as you lift the chest. 
exhale as you fold forward, lead with the chest and then let the crown of the head release down. Again, those arms can rest right there on the back if that works for you, or if you'd like to take them up overhead, not overhead, but lift them slightly. <laughs> take some nice deep breaths here, find your breath. I'm going to take one more breath here. Oh, I'm going to release the hands and we're going to walk the right foot in until we get to a forward fold. Go one step or several steps, whatever works for you. Forward fold. Inhale. Ooh, bring the arms up. Exhale, heart center. Let's pause here upright for a breath or two. Mm. All right, we're going to get our weight into our left foot. We'll get nice and stable on that left foot. We're going to slowly let the right knee release up. Maybe you release the hands down to release and grab that. And then slowly, we're going to extend that right leg back, lean forward, take you into warrior three. I'm going to leave the, my hands right here at heart center. Inhale, bring the knee back through. Exhale, release it back, warrior three. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, right knee through. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, release the foot. Uh, let's take a mountain pose here. Mm. All right, let's do the other side. So get your weight into that right leg. Find that focus point. Inhale, lift the left knee, hug it in ever so slightly. Exhale, we're gonna extend the left leg back. Warrior three, Whew. My balance is off this morning, sorry. Inhale, bring the left knee through. Exhale. Really focus. I'm not doing that. I'm concentrating on talking. There we go. Inhale. Woo! Bring that left knee through. And there's always one side that's better than the other, that's for sure. And exhale. Let the left leg go back. Let's do that one more time because I need it. Inhale. Bring the leg up. Exhale. Extend it back. Beautiful. And let's release it back to mountain pose. Beautiful. Inhale, take the arms up overhead. Exhale, fold it down. Step it back to down dog from here. Pause here for just a couple breaths. It's our last down dog, so enjoy it. Do one more breath here. All right, let's release it down to tabletop. And maybe do a couple rounds of cat cow here, or hip circles, or maybe a combination. So just take a moment here in tabletop and take care of what you need here. All right, make your way to neutral tabletop here. Press into the floor with the arms and hands. And we're going to slowly let the hips release to one side, the legs to the opposite side. Letting the hip release down to the floor. Beautiful. Let's extend the legs out in front of us. 
And we're gonna make our way down to our back. So whatever you would like for Shavasana at this time, maybe it's a blanket, maybe it's an eye pillow. So just have those handy, ready for your Shavasana whenever we get to that, which will be very shortly. All right, here we go. Release the body back. Uh, and once we're down on our back, we're just gonna pause here. And just feel the support of the earth here. Keep your breath flowing. We're not to Shavasana yet. Very, very soon. Beautiful. All right, let's bring the feet to the mat. Send the knees up to the ceiling. Walk the feet out to the edge of the mat or slightly wider than the hips if you're not on the mat. Inhale with knee center. Exhale, windshield wiper to the right. Beautiful. Inhale back to center. Exhale, release the knees down to the left. Inhale back to center. Exhale, release to the right. Inhale back to center. Exhale, release to the left. Let's do that two more times to each side. Just moving nice and slow and matching your breath. Connecting that breath, allowing your body to start to slow down and relax a little bit. As we prepare for our Shavasana here. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center one more time. Exhale, left. Inhale, bring it back to center. Walk the feet back into neutral sit bone position. Beautiful. We're going to hug in the right knee here. Leave the left knee right where it is here. We're going to begin to open out that right knee out to the right with the right arm. We're going to let the left arm float out to a T. Now, don't let that knee go down so far that the left hip comes off the floor. We want to keep that left hip in contact with the floor. So just open out as far as feels good, keeping that left hip in contact. And now we're going to extend that left leg straight out. Come to the mat. Beautiful pause here. Take one more breath here. Now hug in that right knee and then let it extend down to the mat with the left. Beautiful. Bring the feet back to the mat. And we'll do that same thing, hug in the left knee. Then using the left hand, we're gonna guide it out to the left. Again, making sure that right hip stays in contact with the floor. Right arm goes out to a T. And when you feel good, maybe release that right leg down. Get a little bit deeper of a stretch. Keep your breath flowing here. One more nice deep breath. I'm going to hug in that knee. I'm going to bring the right knee in to join it. And just rock gently side to side here. I'm 
And we're going to come into supine twist. So we're going to use the right hand to guide the knees down to the right. And we're going to let the left arm float out to a T. Just let those knees go down as far as feels good here. Try to keep those thighs together if possible. Mm. And we're just going to breathe here. Let's bring those knees to center, hug them in, and we're going to do the same thing opposite way. Left hand, guide the knee down to the left, right arm releases out to the T, keep those thighs as close together as possible. Mm. Nice deep breaths here. Excuse me. One more breath. Oh, all right, bring those knees to center. Mm, maybe do a few little knee circles here. Should we go the opposite way? Mm. And then we're going to make our way down for our Shavasana pose. So begin to make your way down. Maybe you find that blanket, cover up with that blanket if that feels good. If you're one of those who likes to have the weight of a blanket to help you to relax, I know I do. And we're gonna find that eye pillow or a washcloth or something to cover those eyes up with to allow the eyes to release and relax back. Mm. Beautiful. Slowly let the body begin to settle into its Shavasana pose by feeling the feet relax. Feeling the calves relax. Thigh bones feeling become heavy here. Hips are melting into the mat. Low back is releasing down. Shoulders nice and relaxed back. Arms are nice and heavy. Fingers, just let them go. Put your eyes, sockets, eyes fall back in the sockets. Beautiful. All right, we're just going to rest here for several minutes. And I'll bring you back at the end.
And slowly let your breath come back to your awareness here. Add some small bodily movements. Fingers, wrists, toes, ankles. Mm. Slowly bringing your body back to your space. And then when it feels right, we're gonna slowly roll to one side and pause on that side or a breath or two. And when it feels right, we're gonna use our arms and our hands. Oh, press the body up, right? Ooh. Make your way back to a comfortable seat. Mm. Ah. Let's release the hands out to the sides, palms facing the ceiling. <coughs> Excuse me. Inhale, arms up overhead, bring the palms together. Exhale, heart center. Beautiful. And bow ever so slightly to yourself and thank yourself for showing up. Thank yourself for allowing your body this time to breathe and stretch and just feel its absolute best. And get your day started in the best way possible. I thank you so much for joining me. The light in me sees and honors the light in each one of you. Namaste. Beautiful. Thank you all very much. Have a wonderful day and always be well.